Welcome guys, Matt from Total Drama. Real quick video here, I just wanna look at the best headphones. I've been asked this by so many of my students and people across the internet was asking, because we need to look after ears. Most of us recognize that. And people don't really know, there's a lot of choice out there. So this is a super quick video and we're gonna talk about that. Just in case you don't know, this is so, so important. We've got to look after our ears. I hope you recognize that. It used to be a bit uncool. You know, I remember being younger and playing with older musicians. They used to kind of laugh because I'd have earplugs. I used to think, well, it's not, you know, I know it might not seem cool to you guys because they're a bit old school, but it's even less cool if I get tinnitus. This is the big thing we want to look out for. If you can remember one thing, just this is, this is so important, right? There's no cure for tinnitus. Once you've got it, that's it, you got it, you know? You can't undo that damage, so we need to look after our ears. Drums are loud, so we are in danger, we are at risk. That's just drums, if we play in a band, it's even, even louder. So there's a link for an article under this video, and you can go and check that. If you wanna go a bit more in depth, it will tell you there. There's loads of info from the BTA, the British Tinnitus Association, and there's a chart there as well, and you'll see this chart. The, the basic thing is, there's safe levels of exposure to certain volumes. So every three decibels, the volume goes up. The time we can safely be exposed to that is halved. So that's a, that's a lot, that's, you know, it's a big difference. Not many decibels, three decibels, and our time's halved. Now drums are about, you know, it's quite easy for those to be over 105. Maybe you're playing super light jazz, it'll be less. But generally, if we're rocking out on the drums, we're 105 upwards, 105 decibels, is less than eight minutes for safe exposure. So you can't practice or play the drums for more than eight minutes. It's actually less than eight minutes. It's not even a prog rock song, okay? And you're already damaging your ears. So just think about that. If you go and rock out for half an hour, you're causing damage, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna end up with tinnitus, and that's really bad. You can't undo it. Sorry for the lecture, but this is so important, and I know people that have had tinnitus. It's serious. There's no messing around with this. So say, link under this article, um, there's a link to that article under this video if you want to go and read about that in more depth. All right, so I remember in the olden days, I think this was probably when I was maybe at music college at the beginning, and I knew I needed to practice with a metronome. I remember that being my big thing. I spent 200 pounds just to get a click in my ear, and it was really bad. So I had these headphones, and they, they didn't stop any of the sounds getting in, so I was getting lots of drum noise coming in. I'd sometimes put earplugs in first, then put my headphones on, so it didn't sound great. Then I bought this Boss metronome, and, and then I bought this mini mixer, just more than anything, just to boost the volume of the metronome, because it was too quiet, I couldn't hear it over the drumming. Uh, so the whole thing, what was it like? The, I remember it was 200 quid. It cost me, so with the mixer and the Boss metronome and the headphones, it cost me 200 pounds just so I could get this metronome loud enough so I could practice my drums with a click. And it was uncomfortable, the volume was still really loud so I was getting all the drums bleeding in, the click was so loud so I kept boosting the gain to just make it, I was hammering in my skull. It was horrible. I mean, yeah, I got, you know, I got good timing because I practiced with it, but that wasn't cool. That was back in the olden days. Now it's so easy, I mean, it's laughable to think about that now, but obviously now we've got free metronomes everywhere. You've got apps on your phone, on your tablet, you've got access to metronomes so easily now. It's, it's ridiculous that I had to do that, but I did. Now, there are much better solutions, and I'm gonna show you my favorite one. All right, so there's two things to consider here. One is just protecting your ears. And, and really, it doesn't matter too much what you choose there. It's a, per, a bit of personal choice here. So, I mean, I've sat in, I remember once sitting in on, a, on one of the biggest West End shows, the drummer there was just getting some toilet roll and stuffing it in his ear. You know, and, that, and that's, you know, highest level of a theatre show in the UK, and that's what he was doing. You know, if it protected his ears, fine, go for it. Um, you can get so many different earplugs. You can get little foam ones that will cost less than 10 quid, all manner of different specially made ones for drummers and other musicians. Um, I've tried loads of them, and the, the thing you've got to work on there is a lot of them cut out too much of the sound. So you get this kind of muddy, bassy, horrible sound. It's not very inspiring. Of course, you can get custom molded ones, much more comfortable. They're normally designed so you get all the frequencies coming through but at a lower volume. They're really nice, they are expensive. So, you know, I would start with the cheap stuff, experiment, see what's comfortable, see what gives you a nice sound so you actually feel inspired. Vic Firth also did his great ear defenders. They're about 30 quid. And I know what it's like when you're starting out and you're younger and you know, 
30 quid's a lot of money. There's much more exciting things to buy with 30 quid. But, as I've said, it, this is super important. And once you've got them, look after them. They'll last forever. So I would definitely just invest in them. Stop saving up for that next snare drum or the splash cymbal or whatever. Take this seriously and get, just spend some money, look after your hearing. So that's just for ear defenders. If you want sound in your ears as well, because obviously we like to play along with backing tracks, you might want the metronome in your ear and all of that, then you've got to look at something else, like a headphone. And what you really want here is sound isolation headphones. So this is something that's going to stop all of those noisy drum sounds and maybe your band rehearsal, all of that stuff coming into your ears. So you don't have to do what I did, which is turn that gain up, get the metronome so loud that you can hear it over your drums and everything's battling to be heard and your, your ears are suffering, right? We do not want that. So sound isolation headphones are gonna stop all of that getting in. My, my choice for these, these are, I mean, I've tried loads, but these Vic Firth ones are awesome. I just like them, I like the sound that I'm hearing. They're comfortable, they do the job, they stop the other sounds getting out. Um, stop the other sounds getting in, sorry. So now I can have my backing tracks, and my metronome on, at a really low volume, a really nice, safe level. I can play it all day. It's not going to damage my ears. And I'm also getting a nice sound from my drums. It's all coming in, it's all sounding good, it's comfortable, it's working. So, so that's my choice. There's a link to the ear defenders and there's a link to those sound isolation headphones under this video. Go and check them out. Of course, there are other brands out there, but you're looking for sound isolation headphones. For me, they, the, you know, th this is the solution. It's enabled me to just practice for hours and hours and hours without causing any damage to my hearing. And so far, touch wood, I can still hear, I haven't got tinnitus, I'm in good shape. At least, at least in my ears, I'm in good shape. So take this seriously and you can play into your old age without problems. All right guys, I hope that helps. There are lots of options out there. You know, you can get your custom molded in-ear monitors. You can go out there, I mean, whatever. You could spend loads of money, but, but I would either look at, um, if you just want the ear defenders, get some ear defenders, but, or start with cheap earplugs. And if you want to get music in there, which is really worth it, because at some point you're going to want the metronome or some backing tracks in there, I would look at something like the Vic Firth isolation headphones. If this has helped you, hit subscribe. All the links to everything I've talked about are under the video. Go and read the article if you want to go a bit more in depth. Read up, learn about this, because seriously, you lose your hearing, music isn't fun anymore.